Well hello and welcome to this Record Power Live Sessions Highlights video. To see more Live Sessions videos, you can subscribe to the Record Power YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications each time a new video is released. Hi, my name's Theo and welcome to my studio workshop here in Brisbane, Australia. In today's live session, I'll be turning VW Beatles two at a time. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome to my workshop. Uh, basically, I'm going to take a pattern that looks like this. There's our little VW. That's a 1952 model. And then I'm going to spin it and you'll actually see the VW <laughs> going through its paces. We'll get stuck into it. So first of all, I start with a piece of wood. So it's one and three quarters by three and a half. If you want to write that down, well, it's the biggest piece I could find at the hardware store, or 90 by 45. It's important that we find the center. So that's mainly for the sticker. And the other thing is I've got to go with the 45 across here because we have to find the center. And in this case, I'm using oh, this multi-hesive. I love this stuff. But the main thing is that we get the glue on those top edges. There we have it. So what I've done is, I don't know if you can see the VW hubcaps, that's a little graphic. Of course, that's not where the center of the wheel usually is, but if you're going to make one of these, you, I, I've actually moved the axle upwards and that's the mark where I'll be drilling the holes. Yeah, nice and clean. Um, I'm at about two and a half thousand revs. I've got my, my roughing gouge, so you can take this off pretty quick. I can take a lot more off here. Let's get the windscreen done. There's a bit of flickering going on, but... The most important thing is here, I need to... I need to follow that curve downwards, so I'm going to probably drop the bonnet a fraction. I'm going uphill, I'm turning uphill now, a little. I'm just coming off the bonnet here and I need to come, come down a little bit more. So I'm rubbing the heel. You notice the tool is already turned. And it, you, you see that? Nothing's happening. And you just keep rotating the tool slightly. And eventually, it starts to cut. I think we're done there. Come and join our international woodworking community and be part of the next Record Power live session. You can register at recordpowertv.com. So I've got the double lines actually, so I need to cut this in half. But what I might do is, while this is so solid, I'm just going to round this off here. We'll just cut that off square. You can see there, we're starting to get a, a bit of a look to it. And I don't mind that. Uh, I can stop right there. You'll still see what's going on. So I'm just going to take that edge. The other thing is, you can flatten this. one horsepower at 620 revs with with uh, all that work that it's doing it's it's uh, it's going pretty well and now for the back probably don't need to do too much 
and it suits yourself. You know, it's not as if we're uh, going to try and sell it to the, uh, the VW Collectors Club. It's just going to be a toy that the child is going to use, and I can clean this up. That's pretty well. So 80 grit, a bit of elbow grease, at about 600 revs a minute. To see more live sessions videos, you can subscribe to the Record Power YouTube channel. I've got a piece of wood that's mounted in here. It's jacaranda. The reason for the jacaranda is the grain doesn't come through when you colour it because I want to make some mag wheels. I'll just show you those mag wheels again. There we are. That's the spirally one. And then there's the, the gold. And I'm about to make them right now using uh, knurling and shadow work. Don't you love it when, when your tool is sharp and you get nice shavings off a roughing gouge? Just start this off. You can tune this up. The longer it is, the bigger the chatter. The shorter it is, the finer the chatter. But then your speed can make a difference as well. And I'm just going to put the tool in there and just drag it slightly and we'll get straight spokes. And you never go past the outside because if you go past the outside, uh, it'll just chip. And there's our mag wheel. It's ridiculous how easy that is. Um, what I could have done was, was coloured it. I'm just going to make these gold mag wheels. So what you do is leave it spinning really fast. I've got a gold marker. It's a metal marker. And I'm just going to skim over the top. So I'm just going to roll this over. You can decide uh, how wide your tyre is going to be. I always start a bit further out. And I'll just go a bit more. Yeah, so let's look at the grain. The grain's running this way. I'm just going to cut along the grain into the middle. So I'm going to push this in here. And then, it's because I, what I want to do is round the end of this off. And if you haven't got small jaws, then all you do is do that. Just drill that, put it back in where it was, lock that in. And that's not going anywhere because that gives it that little bit of an ability to close. So we started with a block of wood like that looked like that we stuck the sticker on uh, put it between centers and spun it and we turned down to there until we got that and then i used the disc sander to just round off the disc sander on the lathe rounded that off uh, rounded that off and then ended up with the car and anybody that came late probably saw me make the mag wheel but here's here's a mag wheel and that just goes in there like that so there's our v done Thanks for joining us and don't forget if you want to see more live sessions videos you can subscribe at the Record Power YouTube channel. Come on and join our international woodworking community and be part of the next Record Power live session. You can register at recordpowertv.com.